My keyboard is dead, so I need to get the cable out and charge that up because that's a thing. Sunday morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, August 29th. It's just before 11 a.m. And we're gonna start off the day with a walk. We have things we wanna do this afternoon that require us being couch potatoes. <laughs> and so we'd rather not go walking then. So we're gonna do it now. One of the things we're gonna do is watch the Bob Ross documentary. So if you haven't seen that, you might wanna check it out on whatever your streaming service is. I think it's a Netflix movie. Uh, and Bob's got a fantasy football thing that he does every year, so that's gonna happen today too. So we're gonna just start off the day with a nice walk before it gets too hot again. I do think it's gonna be in the mid 80s, but anyway, I'm gonna see what I can see and I'll that's be back in the art room after lunch and walking this morning. It's, what time is it, 1.45 p.m. and I am trying to get, hold on, don't mean to make you dizzy, these four bins down to two. <laughs> I know, that might be a problem because <laughs> I want to fit one more big bin at the bottom down here, right down. I want to take that shelf out. It just pops out and put a big bin there. Um, I've, I'm going to move, move down some of the paper crafting big bins that are usually at the bottom out here because I would like to get a bin down there at the end where all the fabric is of leather so that I have the leather out and I'm not constantly digging in the closet for it. I also have a bin of like lace and satin and stuff that I got for free, whoops, where? Oh, there we are. From the bridal shop when my daughter got married, they gave me this big bag of fabric free when they found out I sewed. And um, so I'm gonna go through it. Whoop go through that. I didn't ever go through it. I just jumped, dumped it in a bin, literally. But now I'm going to go through it. I'm going to pull out the pieces I want to use, put them in. I do have a bin for lace, so I'm going to put them in the appropriate bin and um, then probably use that bin for the leather, that, that bin for the leather. And anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this work, but I'm going to try. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, August 30th, about 9.55 a.m. Don't get excited. I looked already. <laughs> I already started checking up on social media. Evidently, I have rewards money from Michael's. So I might go out and buy. I need some large stretch canvas. I'm out. So I might go out and pick one up. We'll see. Uh, anyway, I also did some more paint, paint splattering work out in the woods this morning. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Again, it's for an upcoming series here on YouTube that actually starts next week. Next week? Yeah, next week. Um, and um, the patrons are, uh, and supporters are already getting a sneak peek. They, already, they get the episodes before you all do. So if you want to be in on that and other content that you guys don't see here on YouTube, well, become a patron or supporter. You can join my Patreon or you can join the community tab. Um, you get less on the community tab than you do over on Patreon. I'll be honest with you about that. Um, but anyway, support the free content. Um, so that's now got to dry. I got some more of these bookmarks in. I have over the years managed to use up enough of my old scrapbooking stationery stash of stuff um, to actually not only have, I should really put these on because you know to not only be able to have things out in a order that makes sense where I can find stuff but um, I've used up enough of it that I can actually do a little bit of replenishing, which is nice. Um, one of the things I love doing is using these pre-printed, pre-cut. Oh, they're supposed to be bookmarks. 
Hold on. This one is feather shaped. And it's a like this. You could, of course, make these with a um, printed copy of some feather artwork. I have some available in my Etsy shop and I'll be probably making something like this with them soon in a video. I also have a floral, I'm lazy though, so you know, there's that. It'd be cheaper if I just made it myself. But anyways, um, I also got some floral ones. These boxes are hard to open. It doesn't want to open. Let's grab some scissors. These are just from the dollar store. Don't spend a ton of money on your scissors for your mixed media unless they're fussy cutting scissors because you're just gonna, if you're like me, you're just gonna mess them up. So my scissors are from the dollar shop. I have a couple of pair of small fussy cutting scissors when I'm doing that sort of thing. Um, those I spend a little bit of money on, but just regular, yeah, they're from the dollar store. These happen to be Betty Crocker kitchen scissors because that's what they have, but anyway. These ones are flowers. I was nearly out of these, so I ordered some more. Aren't they cool? They're great to use on your journal pages and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna put these away. They're sitting on my desk kind of in the way. I also got some more squeezy bottles because I used the last two and I wanna mix up some custom paint colors like these two that I did. Uh, so I had to order some more bottles because I was out. So anyway, I got those in too. And uh, other tip, frugal tip, frugal art tip. Now you all probably have things like this in your art room. You wash, they're just garbage because I don't think any, well in Oregon we don't recycle the lid. You can recycle the bottom but not the top, which is weird, but anyway. These would make good palettes, paint palettes. And I mean, if you're gonna throw it away anyway, use it for a paint palette first a few times and then toss it out. So anyway, that's that for the moment. It's a quiet Monday because I got all of my Monday work done yesterday, which I can't say I'm mad about. So now I can just play and maybe go run some errands, maybe use those rewards dollars at Michael's and all of that. So, oh, I do have, the coffee dyed fabric to show you. Hold coffee on. Coffee dyed fabric, and I put it on a cookie sheet here. Again, this is from the dollar store. And this is a cookie sheet that I've used to dye and um, distress paper and fabric before. And I don't really clean the bottoms of them off so that when I do this dyeing, sometimes some of the water soluble color from previous distressing and dyeing jobs will also come up onto the fabric. And it definitely did on this. Um, but the coffee dyed fat, look at that. Isn't that just, how much do you just love that? I mean, it still smells like coffee. Here's some lace. I even saved the string. And we have cotton and we have satin. And so I'm going to be um, ironing this and shaking it out. But um, some of the stuff, um, obviously something on here was pink, but how cool is that? And it also transferred to some of the fabric. So I need to shake the coffee grounds out and give everything a good iron. And then we are good to go. Yay. All right, I'll be back. Errands or anything else. I wanted to talk about our whole use it or lose it project that we started last year where we try to use up the art supplies that we have before we go buy new supplies. Or at least take a second look at what we have to make sure that there's nothing else we can use in place of that thing that we want to buy. Um... It's not that I haven't been continuing to do it, because I have. I've taken a lot of my powdered pigments and turned them into a sort of an ink. This is just a reused bottle that I had. Um, at the time of filming this, there's a video coming soon. And if it's out, I will link it down below. Anyway. Um, so I've used up a number of powdered pigments in here. I've used up some gel medium. I've used up some packing tape. I've used up some pens. It's not that I'm not doing it. 
I'm just not feeling like the videos are getting a lot of views. Um, I will be talking about it in the vlog and talking about using up supplies and trying to continue to give you guys hints and tips. Um, I, and again, it's not that I'm not doing it because I am looking first at what I have, what, what I can mix to use in my art from what I have, what paper products that I already have that I can use um, rather than just automatically go buy something new. I hope you're doing the same. And I am not going to bother washing these little salt and pepper shakers out because, really? Yeah, it's just not happening. I should probably, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to just toss them. <laughs> and um, I know where you're all probably screaming at me. I've also used up a number of small tubes of paint. Um, I bought these to travel with and then discovered that when I travel, if I'm taking paint, it's watercolor paint. I never take acrylic paint with me. So these need to be used up. Anyway, um, so lots of stuff. Take a second look at what you have. Um, you know, it's COVID time, so it's not like we can go anywhere anyway. So let's take a look at what we have in that art room and take a look at the space and make smart with what we've got. Get creative. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. So I'm over at Michael's and I'm about to go in and I realized something. So fun fact, I love books almost as much as I love art and books and reading. And I haven't been to the library since before this whole thing with COVID started. And I'm, the library is like right over there. So, and they're open. So I'm gonna put my mask on when I'm done at Michael's, well back on, and I'm gonna go over to the library. Cause why not? Did I get a stack of magazines, half of which are for my husband. They're car and hot rod magazines. But I met a very nice lady named Virginia he was part of a local watercolors group. Uh, and I gave her my business card. They aren't doing a whole lot of in-person meetings right now because of COVID, but I mean, you know, I should make friends that are actually people in the community and not just on YouTube. I don't think it's a bad idea. So anyway, we'll try it out.
guys. I don't think I vlogged it today. It is Tuesday, August 31st, last day of August. Uh, 11.50 a.m. I'm headed downstairs to go grab some lunch. I'm kind of hungry. I have a little bit of a headache, probably because I need to eat. Um, anyway, I'm going to make myself a cup of bone broth and my usual lunch of a wrap and some snap pea chips. Yeah. Anyway, I was just watching my cousin Jenny's YouTube channel. She is a cosmetologist and um, she has a channel that's all about that. Um, I will link it down below. Go give it a watch. I guess we didn't turn the faucet off all the way. It was dripping. Um, anyway, go give it a watch. Um, she was talking about damaged nails. Hello, can I relate? I'm going to be commenting on her video just now. So if you want to know what my comment is, go over there and see the video. I'll link it down below. Anyway, I'm going to make some lunch and then I'm going to get back to what I was doing, which was working on some paper clusters. My paper cluster trays were overflowing a bit, and so it's time to just get to making. Um, yeah, all right. I also think I'm going to, starting tomorrow, start any, another sale in the Etsy shop. I really, really need to clear out some inventory so I can make way for some new stuff, which I can't do yet, can't start yet, until we clear out some of the old. So it's all gonna be going on sale. Um, I will put the coupon code and information down below for you all and um, I'll be advertising it in my Facebook groups and on Instagram and probably my MailChimp newsletter so if you're not following me on some kind of social media maybe you should look at the link tree list of links which is down below all right that's it for the minute I'll all be right back. so I had a nice chat with my friend and supporter Laura Gregane in Canada and while we were chatting, I made a bunch more paper clusters. I'll put a picture here. I don't think I've done a video on my take on paper clusters, but if y'all are interested, put something down below in the comments. I also made some new daily drawing journals. I was out and I'm getting ready for September, which starts tomorrow. Um, so I made, I make my own daily drawing journals uh, for the most part. Um, otherwise I use a Moleskin Cahier. And um, I'll put a picture here of the ones that I made. If you want a video on doing those, again, put a comment down below. No, oh, there is mail. I wasn't expecting anything. Okay. Um, so anyway, I got that all done. That was really great. I got it done, got the mess cleaned up, got everything put away. So that's all good. Um, got some chores done. You know, it's been a quiet stay-at-home day. Sit at the desk and get stuff done because that's what needed doing. It's about that time in the evening. Bob's off of work so we're going to go for a walk and discuss dinner probably. Politics most likely. Yeah. We get in, get in heated discussions while we're out walking. Fun fact. Maybe COVID. I don't know. His work. We discuss all those things. I will. Hey girls. So, that's Betty and Gypsy. Hi. Some very cute little neighborhood guard dogs. I know. But I think we walk by here too much because they don't really bark at us anymore. And they're wagging their tail. Yeah, we're not sure which one is which. And occasionally there's another taller dog here. His name is Bo. Evidently he doesn't live here. Nope. Hey, you. Hey there. Oh, you good, you good puppies? You good puppies? Yeah. Oh, you good Oh. Yeah. You good puppy? Yeah. Oh yes, please scratch me. Oh, scratch my back. Hit me. Oh. We're not dog people at all. What gave you that idea? <laughs> all right, I'll be back. What happens when you finally dig out your rescue inhalers to check on all of them, and every single one of them is expired. So yeah, so I keep one upstairs, one downstairs, one in my handbag, one in my walk workout bag. Um, one in the car. Uh, so I have a few of them um, so that I'm never within short distance of reaching one should I need it. But the oldest one is from 2015 and the newest one is from 2020. So that's a problem. Yeah. I mean, I don't need them often, but it's sort of like an EpiPen. You want to make sure you have it when you do need it. All right. Now it's time to clean out 
one of a couple of t-shirt drawers because everything is too big on me. I'm going to save my favorite things, the things that kind of fit, and the rest has got to go. Oh my god, the sun is bright. Okay, it's, it's, can you all even see it back there? I don't even know if you can, it's back there somewhere. It's, it's so bright. Anyway, we're on the path. We're headed up to see Betty and Gypsy. If you don't know who they are, there are some little neighbor dogs we see a lot. They used to bark at us all the time. Now they just wag their tail and wait for pets. There they are. Hey, I can't tell if you can see them or not because the sun's right in my face. There they are. The cutest little things. Good puppies. So yeah, we like to stop by and say hi to them on our walk. It's a thing. I don't know. I'll be trying not to scare them away. But there's a whole bunch of ducks. They just went around the corner. Just walking down the side. They're just walking. They're not flying. Which is interesting. Because there's a lot of uh, duck ones. Yeah. I don't know if it's a mama and a bunch of babies or... I don't know. What do you call a bunch of ducks? Flock? A flock? Oh, there. Let's see. They look like babies. Where are they? There they are. They're headed to the golf course. So cute. We're so happy to see the ducks back. Can't even tell you. Let's get some rain. And there you go. There you see this bright sign across my face. Um, now if we could just get some rain and some colder weather, I'd be so happy. <laughs> I'm hoping. One of my friends in Canada, they've already had snow sightings. I'm hoping. Really hoping. All right, I'll Everybody. be back. So it is... 9.36 a.m. God, I need sunglasses. Hold on. Uh, okay. Wow, it's bright out here. It's 9.36 a.m. Thursday, September 2nd. I got a bunch of Etsy orders in last night, so I got them packaged up this morning and we're headed out to go drop those off. I also spent most of yesterday, as y'all know if you're watching this clip, um, cleaning out closets and stuff and I have a bunch of stuff for donation so the back of my car is pretty full so we're gonna go take care of both of those things today hey uh, guys it's 1 26 p.m. obviously I'm home got all my errands run and donations dropped off and grocery shopping done for my house and one of the kids turns out Jenny daughter of my heart, it very much takes after me and her middle name is not Grace or Patience, as is not mine. Because yeah, she tripped and fell while out house hunting with her husband, Brian, and she sprained her ankle and fractured a bone in her foot. So yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see them tomorrow or not. I did do the mom thing and tell Brian to tell his wife to stay off of her foot as much as possible. Um, and I went and bought them some groceries and brought them over. So now I just want to take a nap. I've had my lunch. I've had something to eat and I just want to take a nap. I think I'm going to have an iced coffee instead. Um, cause I've got stuff to do. And then while I'm drinking it, I'll watch a little more YouTube. Then I guess I'll do the dishes cause the sink is full again. We're out for a pre-dinner walk. And ears are down and she's ready to take off. Yeah. Yep, she's happy. My dad's seeing if he can walk Lily. Hi. She's a handful on a good day. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Okay, we are up early. I don't know if you all can hear the barracuda in the background. Uh, you can see flashes of crazy pants in the back seat. We are, it's 8.40 a.m. We are headed over to a cars and coffee thing in Sherwood um, with the Barracuda. My dad and Bob are driving the Barracuda. I'm taking Crazy Pants in the Subaru. Uh, I think Bob's afraid to have her in the Barracuda. I don't, and I don't think we'll all fit anyways. Anyway, we're gonna go do that this morning. 
Yes, yes, Lily, we're going for a ride. Um, so we're gonna go do that this morning and that ought to be fun. We haven't been to like a car show of any sort since COVID started and we love going to car shows. I know, funny thing that I like doing, which you wouldn't think, but I do. So anyway, I've had my two cups of coffee. I could probably use a third, but anyway, we're gonna go do that. Oops, I might need to back up some more because it's a Barracuda. And yeah, I know I just drive a Subaru, but I don't want him to hit my Subaru. So we're gonna go do that and I'll be back. Okay, we were chilling for a little bit after the cars and coffee thing this morning. My dad has left to go home. He'll text me when he gets there safely. And in the meantime, we're gonna take Crazy Pants for a little bit of a walk before lunch. Yeah, get some steps in. Try to make up for my only like five or 6,000 steps yesterday. It was a slow day for me. So anyway, I think we're gonna go on a nice long walk. I'll be back. Forty-seven p.m. Saturday, September 4th. My keyboard is dead, so I need to get the cable out and charge that up because that's a thing. Anyway. Anyway, it's been a long week. Not a horrible week, but a long week. I haven't gotten too much art done today because we've just been running errands and getting our step. We put our health first. We got our priority was taking my dad to the Cars and Coffee show this morning, which he really loved. I didn't get any footage because we were just enjoying the time at the show. Um, I will get some footage of Cars and Coffee next time, but I had a hold of the dog. So, but it was a lot of fun. And then afterwards we went um, on a long walk and got a bunch of steps in um, while dad was driving home. And then we went and ran a couple of errands and I forgot a bunch of groceries when I was at the store because things weren't on the list. So we went and got that up. Hopefully now I don't have to go for a while. And yeah, um, it's all done. We got some Chinese food on the way home and yeah, it's all good. So we're done. I'm exhausted. I need to do my daily drawing, but of course Lily is still here. She's here for the weekend. And she, of course, wants to sit next to Grandma on the couch, so she's taking up that side of my sofa. So I've got to figure out a different way to get my drawing done. So I'll manage. All right. That's it for today. That's it for this week. I hope you've had a good one. Um, please check the video description out for relevant links. Check my li uh, link tree list of links for ways to support the free content here on Facebook and also um, here on Facebook, holy cow, here on YouTube and in the Facebook art groups. Oh my God, can you tell I'm tired? Um, there's lots of ways to support the free content, including joining Patreon, shopping in my Etsy shop. I have a code right now for um, September, THANKS20, all capitals. I'm sorry, thanks 30, all capitals. It's in down below. Ignore me because I'm incoherent because I'm tired. Um, anyway, we're trying to clear out a bunch of inventory still in the Etsy shop so that I can come out with new things. I refuse to do that until we've cleared out some stuff. So 
Um, I am working on some new things, but yeah. So anyway, um, we have that going. You can shop in the Etsy shop. You can join Patreon. There's some new videos coming out starting on Monday the 6th, and it'll be a little series, and the patrons get first look at all the videos loaded to a special location just for them. Um, and then you all get them later scheduled out here. I hope you will all enjoy it. If there's particular content you would like to see, leave something down in the video description. We'll see what we can work out. All right, that's it for right now. Have a good week and uh, be creative, be safe, be healthy. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to get some sleep and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.